Hey you, have you ever wanted to play Arsenal with your PS4 controller on PC? But when you plug in your controller in, nothing happens. You can't press any buttons, you can't move, or you can't shoot. Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to do that. Let Pass Cheaty take you over there. I'm going to tell y'all what you need. What you need is your PS4 controller, obviously. A USB, uh, via USB, you know, micro USB, like a Android charger, something like that. And if you don't want to use a uh, wired, which I think is the best because less latency, you can buy a USB dongle for your PC or if you already have Bluetooth and you know how to connect it. After you have all that, guys, go in the link that's going to be below. I'll send you to this website. Here are the things your PC needs. You need Microsoft Net 1.4, Visa C 2010-2012 runtime, DirectX runtime, uh, Microsoft Xbox 360 drivers, which is probably should be installed already since you have a Windows 10 computer. So we go all the way down until we find the attachment file. The latest version is the DS for tools 1.2.2. That's the latest version and this has been like a long time. It hasn't updated yet. So once you download it, you open it up. I suggest you make like a new folder. I don't want to install any drivers, but I'll run you guys, I'll run you guys through this. And then you just drag all that into there. Okay, so once you have it, click on the folder and then you go to drivers first. What you need to do is you need to install the drivers. Here, I'll run it down for you. So you click on yes for the drivers. This pops up. All you have to do is click on install. Let's click on install. Install succeeded. Install summary. It doesn't really gotta say anything. And then now you click on exit. Now once you install the drivers, all you have to do is go to the script server. And now it's looking for your controller, right? So if you have your Bluetooth, click on it. If you don't, it's okay. So after that, you plug into the controller. And then bam, you see, now you have your controller LED on. It's knowing that it's there and your controller one is connected. You go to options and if you want to change the RGB, you just click uh, right, left. It changes right there and then until you click on set. Right and we click on set. Oh, that's not red, that's pink. Oh my god. Or you can do real time changes. Or you change the RGB just like that. Now guys, let me tell you what this application actually does. What this application does is turns your PS4 controller into an Xbox emulator controller because Xbox controller is the only thing that Roblox PC supports. So any game that supports R15, aka your controller, like Xbox controller, you can use any controller on it using this application that's a PS4. So we can minimize that and we can exit out of this. And let's load up some Roblox. Alright guys, so as you guys can see, I'm using the D-pad, up, down, up, down. Basically, you press on options for the settings if you want to go there. Basically, everything like a, like a Xbox controller. And this, if you want to toggle the menu. So if it doesn't show up, always press this, and then you move up and down. You press share. Now, let's see if we can join the team. Let's see. So I have to show you all this. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Oh, up, down. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Now, I know Phantom Forces supports controller as well. There we go. Oh, baby. Trying my real best over here. I love this new gun, it's actually kind of clean. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like, please subscribe and hit that like and I'll see you dudes in the next video. Don't get your likes, that piece. Peace. It is touching the truth.